Good morning, savers. It's about 4.15, up a little earlier than usual. I've got to have to head into the office for a train, a couple days of training here. So, uh, still want to keep my habit of getting up and walking and doing my AM routine, let's say, to get the day started. But uh, 60 degrees outside, it's going to be cloudy and hazy, it looks like, for the next couple days. And, uh, have an easy pozole recipe for you today because I'm heading into the office. I just want to get when I, I love coming home and you smell that it's a crock pot thing. So I love coming home when you smell that crock pot going and it's like, oh, so good, so good. So stick around for that. Um, theme for the week is savored. Imagine that, simple and savored. Um, this is by Candace Bergen, the actress. I've never savored life with as much gusto as I do now. Well, Candace, you are hitting me in the zone here. Um, I don't know when that was written, but she's, uh, I think in her 60s, 70s now. Sorry, Candace, if I'm a little high on that, but um, something I've really noticed is, uh, just as you age, is uh, your your perspectives, your things you feel are important really everything changes over time and uh, I had a wise sage that I used to work with years ago um, told me he was well, probably 10 15 years older than I was just kind of uh, wrapping up his work uh, his work for money career he owned a couple businesses and sold them and uh, but he said, right around 50, things kind of start changing. The things you look at and what's important to you starts changing. I was 45 at the time. I was like, old guy, what's he know? And uh, almost a year, <laughs> it was really close. Um, hit 50 and it's like the things I started looking at changed or the way I looked at them changed. So it's been an interesting little thing. So I would definitely relate to Candace on that um, I don't know you just you're moving at such breakneck speed I think as as you're younger and as you get older it's man I miss a lot of things or I had the opportunity to really and meet somebody or uh, spend some time with somebody and I took a, a different track let's say so the things uh, I'm, I'm really focusing on is it's the same moments. <laughs> it's how we perceive them, I guess, or just slowing things down to actually go, oh, that was a neat moment. Thinking about it, it's already gone versus, wow, let's really enjoy this moment and really enjoy the people we're around and uh, build some good relationships. I think we, we all have a lot of acquaintances, but building good deep friendships is a um, priority of mine now too so i'd uh, love to hear your thoughts on that as as you as you've as you've uh, gotten older uh, start a family seen that family come and go um, has that changed your perspective on things? Love to hear your thoughts. If you're new to this channel, Simple and Savored is, is really becoming the you you want to be versus the you that our work and our family and everybody kind of puts us in the situation to be. And uh, so the morning walk is really just looking at thinking, of, thinking in the morning versus just getting into your routine and uh, making it through another day. Whew, there's a lot of fun in that. Every time, every time in the morning now, it's like, I wonder what Frank's doing. It's like, Frank is living La Vida Loca down in Florida. So here's our new, I don't know if you can see it, right in there somewhere. There's a new flamingo in the front yard. Let's see who's up. Anybody waiting for me to get in? Good morning, Tino. He's usually in the office. Let's cover you up. It's, it's 
It's getting chilly out there. Big, deep 60s, yeah. If you don't know Italian grands, they love the blankets, but Tino is just not quite usual. I am heading into the office today early, so I am putting together a uh, winter, since winter seems to be here now, a winter crock pot uh, pozole. So really simple, open up a can of hominy, uh, keep the liquid in there, a uh, can of green enchilada sauce, pork, carrots, garlic, and cumin. Chop it up however you want, put it in the crock pot on low for the day, and when you come home, it is gonna smell wonderful. Took about uh, six minutes to chop the vegetables and the pork and peel the garlic and open the cans of uh, hominy and enchilada sauce. Added a couple teaspoons of cumin and a little salt and pepper and it's going on into the crock pot. So that was about a seven minute uh, winter warmer meal for you to enjoy. Yes, I am a responsible driver. I wanted to shoot some video of coming across the bridge. It's kind of cool when it's dark and see all the buildings and everything. But I didn't. I waited till I was in the parking lot and pulled in. So we made it. Let's see. It is took uh, 25 minutes to go 16 miles. So pretty good today. Well, there's $14 well spent for the day. The prices have gone up since I was down here. Come in maybe once a month, every other month. And uh, time to go get some coffee. Uh, let's see, the city is waking up here. Beat the traffic. That drive has taken me an hour and 20 before. If I don't leave early, then I guess I'll say I treat myself with a coffee, but just kind of nice to get down here while it's quiet and either get some work done or edit videos or do something I, I want to do versus sitting in traffic. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, elevator. So kind of go to my normal spot. I really like the view from this part of the office. Looking north, up towards Vancouver. And we'll head over to the east view, looking over the Willamette River. And out towards Mount Hood. Sometimes this sunset or sunrise just rocking up here. Awesome. And then that's a new building right up here. Quite a few new buildings going on. And then here's the West View. So this building has gone up probably in the last six months. That hotel is new within the last year or two. There's a lot of building going on in Portland. Here's the common space, just kind of funkified. You can kind of work wherever you want with Wi Fi. I've got a ping pong table, a uh, rolling garage door, which is the super ultra cool thing, and then back to the elevators. Ah, the joys of Portland traffic. A little slower than it is or was this morning, so. Lots of fun. Don't miss going in the office for this reason. Now, how many coffee shops have a fire pit outside? If you haven't been to La Di Da in Vancouver, you gotta check it out. The pasole turned out so good, so I sliced up a little cilantro, a little green onion, whatever I had in the fridge, and put a little tapatio sauce on top, and good to go. Yamalamana, cool fall night. <laughs> 